Today, my quest for platinum trophies continues with Spider-Man 2, one of the most anticipated games of 2023, but can it surpass the epicness of Spider-Man 1? 42 trophies are up for grabs, and I was so incredibly hyped to dive back into this city, especially having just recently platinumed the first Spider-Man. But before we begin, quick warning, there will be spoilers in this video. I mean, it, it's a video about 100%ing a game, so what do you want from me? Up first, you're gonna need help. A sandy presence is disturbing Peter's class and the two Spideys rush off right into an insane boss fight that brings you around New York, which looks even better than the last game. So much bigger, so much more detail. After defeating Sandman, you find out that the big bad Craven is on his way to the Big Apple. Welcome to Spider-Man 2, baby. Completing the prologue rewards us with the first trophy. So this time around, there are 14 districts in the city to explore, but the incredibly sick addition of these wingsuits and the slipstream make traversal so much fun. I also remembered hearing that this game had fall damage, which was correct, and gave me trophy number two, Splat. I'm trying to figure out... I don't know if this might be high enough, I guess we'll see. Oh! Ah! All right. Got it. <laughs> From there, we got a little bit of a head start on uh, some of the side missions, because just like last time, there are a lot of them. <laughs> There's photo spots, prowler stashes, spider bots, EMF experiments, uh, Marco's memories, Mysterio mazes, crimes, all kinds of stuff. Sometimes you'll even come across the other Spidey on duty while you're stopping a crime, which I thought was a, a sick little detail. Like, I love that so much. Our next trophy, Stylish, came after we picked out a brand new Spidey suit. And as you can see, there are so many friggin' versions and styles this time around. It's insane. As we move further into the story, look who's back. You catch up with your BFF Harry, ride some bikes, Reminisce on your high school days, shoot a couple hoops, and all is normal. Nothing could possibly ruin this happy day. Psych! Craven's assault on the city has begun. This crazy motherfucker is going around kidnapping supervillains and just completely fing shit up. Obviously, the Spider Men need to come up with a plan to stop this dude. So, naturally, that leads to Miles playing Dance Dance Revolution in virtual reality, which was. Unironically, one of my favorite parts of the game. <laughs> Moving on, over to the carnival goes the threesome, and uh, naturally Pete had to show off for his lady, so we're just dropping bombs all over these games, like ba-boom, ba-bang, like it's nothing. I am very good at this game, I will have you know. But it's all fun and jokes and ha-has until whoops! Guess who just got powers? So what does Harry do with these powers? Great question. After a near-death experience against Craven, Harry sacrifices his symbiote powers to save Peter, who is just going crazy in this black suit, which finally rewards you with a new suit. As these things usually go, the suit seems like a good idea at first because Peter, you know, is stronger, faster, more aggressive, but the more he uses it, the more he loses it, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, that wasn't me. Uh, yeah, it was Pete. On our way to the next mission, we grab another trophy when we take a quick stop by the cemetery so Peter can visit not only his uncle, but his auntie as well. You know what to do. Damn. I don't think they'd be very happy with you right now, Pete. Our next trophy comes after we find the final Sandman crystal and uncover the secrets behind Marco's memories. And we check in on Marco's daughter, who, of course, is the one that Marco's been trying to protect this whole time. See, he's not such a bad dude for being a giant sand person and we unlock grains of sand. After a couple insane action sequences, the Spideys come face to face with the lizard. We give Dr. Connors his medicine, and that unlocks the trophy, uh, medicine. So back to patrolling the streets with Miles, and I came across this man in a luchador mask outside of a wrestling event, conveniently. Y'all drew a pretty good house out here on the street corner. I'll be honest with you. Taking a photo of the luchador, which happened to be our last photo op, rewards us with New York, New York. Now, at this point, Peter has gone full dick mode. The symbiote suit has just completely changed his personality, even though Harry desperately needs it back, or he's, like, gonna die. But all of a sudden, he's got the all-black fit, he's got the cocky smirk, he's sleeping on the park bench. Nobody's doing it like this. But no matter what he's going through, Spidey duty never stops, because up next is the slack line trophy, which we earn for taking down 25 enemies from the web line. Meanwhile, Craven is forcing Miles into a battle to the death with his old nemesis, Martin Lee, who he has also kidnapped. Quite the predicament here, because 
you kind of want to kill him, but like you're Spider-Man, so eh, morals, uh, whatever. But during this time, Miles obtains his new uh, reverse flux ability, which allows us to earn the overdrive trophy for pulling six enemies together with it. Miles has a chance to put away Martin Lee for good, but nah, nah, let's, let's just let him live. Just let him go. And we earn another way for completing the mission, no escape. Should have taken his ass out. <laughs> Peter goes to save Miles from Craven's grasp and is seconds away from putting this man down for good. But Miles fucks it up and it turns into an epic Spidey versus Spidey showdown. And Miles finally gets the symbiote suit off of Spider Man and we unlock the Great Hunt trophy. Take it off! That's crazy. Oh, oh I got a pull. Whoops. I'm just sitting here looking at it. Let's go, Pete. Get that off. Damn. That was nuts. Whew. The Great Hunt. That was a sick mission. But now that the suit is off of Peter, here comes Harold to claim it for himself. And we get our first look at the Goat Venom giving us one of just the sickest sequences of the entire game. Literally, this was so freaking cool. Venom tears through absolutely everybody in his way, kills Craven, zero hesitation, and we earn leave us alone. He just ate this man's face. It was sick. Holy shit. Leave us alone. That was crazy. Harry's rampage continues as he spreads the symbiote around the city, including to MJ. But after an emotional battle, like, like for real, the dialogue in this battle was like, oh damn. Peter gets MJ back and we get a trophy. I quit. Let's go, MJ. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Our next trophy antidote comes from defeating a symbiote that is under the uh, the effect of the anti-venom status. So once Peter unlocks the, uh, the anti-venom suit, you're given access to these abilities, just like new, crazy, over-the-top abilities, and they are just insane looking. With the city overrun by Venom and his symbiote powers, it is time to prepare for the final attack and oop, final warning. I like that they tell us this. So we're gonna use this time to tie up a couple of the just ridiculous amount of loose ends that we still have before finishing off the story. Resourceful is unlocked by collecting a total of 10,000 tech parts, which are pretty easy to come by because you just, you get them for doing like literally everything. Data collector is next, which we unlock after grabbing all of the runaway talons. These are kind of annoying. They lead us back to Craven's apartment, uh, which leads to a pretty sick reveal that could tie into the next game, maybe? So we'll see. Next up, we take on the final Mysterium, which are these little portals around the city ran by Mysterio. And once you clear out the anomalies and battle Mysterio, you uncover the truth and unlock behind the masks. On to the final piece of the flame side mission as we unlock Surge for using symbiote abilities 25 times and Crimson Hour for completing that entire set of side missions. We are rolling through this. From there, we hit the Prowler stashes around the city that were hidden by Miles' uncle and collecting the final one gives us co-signing. Our next trophy, Armed and Dangerous, came accidentally when we defeated our 100th enemy with the spider arm abilities. From there, we went straight to the final uh, symbiote nest, which rewarded us with Exterminator and also gave us a just badass new king in black suit. Like, look, this is crazy. We're earning these trophies hand over fist at this point. Our next trophy, Seek and Destroy, is earned by completing the hunter bases and putting an end to their grip on the city once and for all. Now, with just a few minor side quests remaining, it was time to finish the main story once and for all. The showdown with Venom at the end was just pretty friggin' incredible, honestly. Fighting back and forth between, you know, the, the pieces of the school and, and the stadium. It was a very enjoyable boss fight. And destroying the source of the symbiote's power allows Peter, Miles, and MJ to defeat Venom. And we unlock Heal the World for finishing the main story. Let's go. Heal the World. Story done. Let's go, man. That's awesome. One post credit scene later, and we're back to the streets of New York to do some major cleanup because, boy, we still got a lot of stuff left. <laughs> so Miles' first side mission after completing the story came in the form of hacking into one of these enemy robot dogs, okay? And then just giving it to a blind woman. 
I I can't be the only one who thinks this is this is probably a bad idea. Okay. This, however, would help us push to level 60 and unlock the amazing trophy for reaching max level. Next up is Brooklyn Pride, which we earned for completing all of the Miles campus missions. Oh, look at you. Look at this adorable little Sue. Brooklyn Pride, baby. Now it's time to wrap up the FNFSMN requests. These are small little side missions, but this one where you play as uh, Haley, I thought was really, really cool. Haley is Miles' love interest, and they communicate through, you know, sign language and stuff since Haley is deaf. And she helps this other girl with her art and like the way you interact with the world during this mission and stuff. I was like, man, that's this is cool. This is just what a lovely, what a lovely game. What a lovely game. So what better way to follow up that mission than to just have your heart ripped out of your chest completely when you come across Howard. Now, you might remember Howard from the first game who had like a whole family of pigeons and, and his wife passed away, etc. Well, Howard asks us to go set his pigeons free because he's going on an adventure. So we set the pigeons free as he asked, and then suddenly Howard stops answering. Why could this be? Maybe he fell asleep. Nope, that's not it. When I tell you, this is why I got to start recording these with face cam when I play them. The, the length at which my jaw dropped when I was swinging back and I saw the ambulance there, I was like, no, I said, I said, no, I was like, nah, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it. But unfortunately, I didn't have a damn choice. This heartbreaking journey rewarded us with a new adventure for helping Howard in his final moments and friendly neighborhood Spider-Man for completing all FN Mass Man send requests. Son of a bitch. 13 trophies left. These are for you, Howard. Evolved is up next as we defeat our 100th enemy using Evolved Venom abilities. Returning all the instruments to the museum? I think that's what this was. Gave us the My Community trophy. Now that would actually give us what we need to unlock the final Miles Spidey suit. And it seems like we're just one Peter Parker suit away from the 100% suit unlock trophy. So it's EMF experiment time. Luckily we have just two of these remaining. These missions have to do with like plant life and Photosynthesis, maybe? I don't know. Completing the final one gives us Peter's final spider suit and unlocks the foundational and kitted out trophies for completing all EMF missions and unlocking every last one of the Spidey suits. We are so close to the platinum, I'm tingling in all my regions. Now at this point, I thought I had completed all of the districts in the city, but it only showed 96%. Then I noticed the spider bots were the final piece to the puzzle to 100% the districts. And the great thing about spider bots is that they don't show up on your map. So you gotta just swing around till you find them. <laughs> but collecting all of these little fuckers gets us superior. Completing the final spider bot mission after finding every spider bot in the city not only opens up a portal to the spidey verse. What? But it gives us funky wireless protocols. We now finally have what we need to unlock Spidey's final upgrade. So we get the gadget upgrades to unlock to the max and maxing out our suit tech is gonna give us fully loaded. And we're down to our final four before the platinum. Swapping over to Miles, we find the science trophy that Miles and Finn won together to unlock just let go. This one was easy. I just had to go there, grab the shit. Now we're good. Now the soar trophy required us to glide all the way from the financial district over to Astoria without swinging or touching the ground at all, which was actually super easy with these wing suits and slipstreams. They got the traversal down to a science in this game. They just, they just absolutely nailed it, man. And that leaves just two. Up to the highest building in New York we go, and we need to perform 30 tricks without touching the ground. My dumbass thought that this meant 30 tricks straight down before you hit the ground. But it in fact uh, was not the case. You can actually string them together while webbing as long as you don't hit the ground. So I did that and that gives us hang 10. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our victory lap. Our last trophy home run requires us to round the bases 
at Big Apple Baller Stadium, which means on the second base, and he's going to make his way to third, and we're going to go all the way home. Let's go home run. Is that it? That's it, right? Give me it. Let's go. Dedicated. You damn right. Let's go. We have 100%ed Spider-Man 2 and earned a brand new platinum trophy dedicated. You damn right. Woo! Man, what a frigging game. Like, legit. They took everything great about the first Spider-Man game and just completely expanded on it. The Venom stuff was sick. Kraven was a cool-ass villain. This was, this was just a, a really fun platinum to get you know and it's another one in the book so the question is now what do we platinum next leave your recommendations down below i'm leaning between starting the batman arkham series or possibly like a random one-off like like bully or something random like that anyway thank you guys so much for stopping by hit that thumbs up button as hard as you can subscribe to the channel on the road to two million and i'll see you guys next time spidey out